Hello everyone, um, it's John here from Praetorian and we're just going to show you um, a couple of videos now, a series of videos um, about our Ultra Joystick. So you might not have seen this across our YouTube channel, you might not have seen this across um, different platforms, but we are going to show you a couple of quick videos about how we can use the Ultra. Um, the Ultra itself is is a uh, small, low profile, yet robust uh, joystick and it's been primarily designed to uh, enable users to to have a joystick or a mouse alternative um, when they need to access it via chin or um, via head or or even via very limited um, uh, use of hands so it's um, it's it's quite ambidextrous it's quite usable by lots of different people and above all as well it can be mounted so we've got an example of a mount here for a wheelchair mount um, quite a robust mount that you can obviously move in lots of different directions so it gives you flexible options for um, positioning. You'll see underneath there you've got the uh, three screws that you can use to, to mount the joystick and then the joystick itself before we get started I just want to show you that you also have two switch ports and uh, a button in the middle on the side there. So these will come into play when we're trying to set up the Ultra, but it'll also come into play if you need switches. Um, however, the Ultra is designed so that you don't need switches too. With the Ultra, you also get two extra knobs. So you get the normal small profile knob, and then you also get a T-bar. And what I'm going to show you is with the uh, large soft ball head as we, as we sort of go through the demonstration today. So like most of the um, Praetorian joysticks and mouse alternatives, they are quite easy to get set up and going. Um, the Ultra itself is a plug and play model, no drivers required. So we simply do just plug the uh, USB straight into any laptop or with an adapter into any other device. So a few things before we get started. Um, the Ultra has two learn modes. Um, the first learn mode that we'll go through is the main learn mode and goes through orientation, uh, buzzer, uh, on or off and switch control. So it shows you, it offers you the opportunity to decide what you want your switches to do if you have switches. The second learn mode is to go through your dual click options, uh, whether or not you want dual click to be left click, right click, double click, drag lock, etc. And also how long you'd like it to be um, before it dwells and clicks. Um, so that's your second learn mode. The crucial thing to let you know though is that the buzzer will stay on during learn mode so you'll always hear the buzzer whether you have it on or off just to signify what's happening. The switches are 100% required for learn mode and setting up your ultra so you do need to plug some in and I've got two smoothies there plugged in as we speak and uh, once you have it set up you needn't use the switches whatsoever if you don't need to as it does have a dwell click function so what you need to do to get cracking with your ultra is you need to hold the middle button down which i showed you a moment ago and that puts it into learn mode one so you get that audible sound to say that you're into learn mode now as soon as you're into learn mode one for orientation you press whichever way you want the up to be so i pressed up there as you saw and what happens is that immediately tells the joystick that that direction is up and the other three directions are down left and right you don't need to do any more you don't need to set up left right and down it automatically knows that that's the directional um way that is required so you'll see now that the cursor will move as the joystick does so the next part of learn mode one is the buzzer and if you would like the buzzer enabled it's as simple as pressing the switch that's in port one if you'd like it disabled it's pressing the switch that's in port two now for the sake of this uh, demonstration i'm going to press uh, port one so that it's on and you hear that audible sound to know that the buzzer is on okay so the next part of learn mode one is setting what you'd like the switches to do um, and it's as simple as choosing within the table in your instruction manual the option that you'd like for each switch. They correspond to each switch themselves. So for example, the one that's in switch one will um, literally take you through the options of uh, what you'd have in switch one and you'd press the one in switch two to change to what you'd require on that one. 
The first time you press it, it tells you which one you're in already, and then the second time you cycle through your options to select to select the option you want. So that one beep tells me that it's left click already for the red uh, switch, but if I was to press it again, it changes to right click and goes through the different options with three, four, five beeps, and then back to, to one to leave it there. The same with the right uh, with the right hand switch. So switch number two. That four uh, beep suggests that it's already set up as the default right click. Then it goes through the options there, back to four. So that's left click and right click set up. Once you finish with learn mode, it does time out after a while if you don't do anything in learn mode, but you just simply hold down the button, let go, and it comes out of learn mode and you're away to use it. So you can do things like that and use it as your mouse would allow you to use. So that's your auto set up for basic use using the default methods of two switches with left and right click. There are other things that you can do with the Ultra and I'm going to put those together in smaller videos that will follow on from this one. But I hope that was easily understandable and I hope you can see how simple it is to set up uh, and the different flexibility of uses that you can get out of the Ultra joystick.